Introducing New Age Sandwich Slices. It sure tastes like cheese. With a lot less cholesterol. Ah, welcome to the Lopbook Podcast. This is episode 43, 20th of September 2016. Now, with me, uh, as well, I'm hoping it's going to be like forever and ever and ever. Naturally, <laughs> we've got Robert down by there. Hello, Rob. Hello. We've got Thomas over there. Hello. And of course, Emmy Lou over there. <laughs> 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 right into my show. We've got uh, Kids in LARP update. Why is Fantasy LARP so popular? And Empire LARP. So let's get on with the show. Find a way to fade that out a bit quicker next time. Okay, then, right then. So um, let's start off with Kids in LARP update. Rob, um, we did a little bit of a video. Uh, with uh, Izzy and Charlie Bex, um, Pit of us Maximus and all the rest of it, uh, about kids in LARP. Yeah? Yes. Um, Could you all explain what we did there, Stu, so everybody understands? Yeah, so um, uh, we had a bit of a... We had an email from them uh, basically asking us, do we know of any LARPs in the UK that cater for the under-12s? So uh, we thought it would probably be a good idea to actually do a little bit of an interview with them and see what they actually want and then put that out to the LARP community as as a whole um, to see what responses we'd come back with. Uh, and I believe we have got some responses. Is that correct, Robert? Yeah, we have. We've done, um, so far, the videos... The, actually, I'll give you some stats on that. Really basic ones, but the page has been viewed a few hundred times now. Cool. We've had quite a few responses come in, but we had a... A number of responses come in on email, not yeah. huge, but a, a good number coming on email from the, the on site form. But there have also been really nice response on a couple of Facebook groups and from Reddit as well. Okay. So I'm Excellent. now sort of compiling everything. Facebook, Facebook groups have given me loads of links. Yeah. And Reddit has brought on a lot of stuff, including some local tourists I didn't even know existed. So. Well done, Reddit. Okay, excellent. That is that is good news. So um, you're going to be compiling those and obviously yeah. putting up in a, a bit of a report. We're going to let this run for a little bit longer, naturally, because oh, it's oh, yeah. it's only been out there for about um, a week, probably less. Oh, no, about four days. Yeah, three, there you four go. days. Um, so yeah, it was it was a good interview. It was a good interview. The, you know, um, I've known I've known Izzy and Charlie uh, well all their lives, uh, <laughs> in fact. Um, and yeah, they're, they're good kids. They, they are quite articulate. They know what they want, uh, as well. And, uh, it went, it went very well. So I was very pleased with the outcome of that. Um, so I look forward to actually, uh, seeing what the results are, what people actually come up with. Um, so far it's been quite interesting. I mean, there's a whole load of new laps. There's children only laps. They have different groups with sort of different ways of having children and adults interacting together. Okay. So all that's going to be coming out. I'm going to be trying to divide it by country so we can see what's happening in different parts of the world. Yeah. But also some different suggestions on how things are being done. Okay. Um, you've got the Empire School. You've got some games where adults are NPCs only and right. pure children laughing. It's um, lots of stuff in between. It's great. Hmm. All right. Excellent. I will, I will look forward to that. Um... So on the on the back of that, then, uh, let's have a little chat. Why? And this is a question that Rob came up with, uh, by the way. Uh, Again. While while we were chatting this morning. <laughs> well, actually, I think I've asked this question before, but we, I, we I've got another new theory now. Okay, theory time. Uh, <laughs> why why is fantasy LARP so popular, but sci-fi LARP is not? So. Rob, pose the question, my friend. Well, that was a question. <laughs> <laughs> Already posed. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Fair enough. But here, but here's a theory, yeah. Go for it. Okay, so really popular LARPing styles. We've got things like fantasy. There's coming up. We've got things like Harry Potter and all associated based on other stuff LARP. Yeah. 
post apocalypse is really popular. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is also sci fi, but not actually sci fi in a kind of Star Wars y, Star Trek kind of way. Yeah. And um, what else? Oh, Zombie Lap is a popular. Yeah, Zombie Lap. Got... And Horror's really popular. Yeah, Steampunk. Steampunk's really popular. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So well, there we go got... then. Everything else really Everything popular. Really done. Popular. <laughs> Actually, no, here's the CV. And most of most of them yeah. Yeah, have an absence of modern technology in any shape or form. Okay. Yeah. So right. is it that fantasy is really popular? Or are people just getting away from the tech and the gadgets and the gizmos? Mm. I think it's because it's easier to run fantasy LARP. Mm. There is that side to it. As in, go on, as, go on, Emily. As in, no, 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 but, as in, on, put, what, uh, as in, put a sword in someone's hand and they pretty yeah. much know how to use it. Yeah, yeah. Um, my um, one of my friends, um, uh, Leah from Mandala, mm-hmm. it's that's her theory um, that yeah. it's it, that running, especially like a big game it's really difficult to run a big game of a sci-fi kind of theme because you can't have the right amount of tech well you can but yeah. it's much more difficult to have the right amount of tech and it's much more mm. difficult to have the setting and even finding a site is much more difficult whereas for fantasy you can basically be in a field pick a wood pick a mountain yeah. some elves done. you know then you're all right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is, uh, you're right that it is there's much there's much lower barrier to entry. You don't need yeah. anything too too sophisticated. Yeah. That's that's right because if it, if it's a sci-fi lab, I suppose, or something like that, then you've got to create. Okay, you've either got to go for the the uh, the grunge sci-fi think Blade Runner. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's, yeah, yeah. It's quite popular at the moment. The sort of grungy lower. No, I would say lower tech or something very high tech, but the yeah. grungier, more down to a grittier, grimier. Yeah. Sci-fi. Like post-apocalyptic, like it's, yeah. It, yeah. It, with post-apocalyptic kind of scenarios. I I, know, I think post-apocalyptic scenarios are really exciting, but mm. it's much easier than making a full, I don't know. Um, spaceship. Like, yeah, making a spaceship is <laughs> yeah, hard. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. How, do make, how do you make a spaceship yeah, yeah. for starters? Yeah, like then yeah. um, Monitor Celestra, they did. Um, they used a battleship, didn't they? Mm. The, That's right. Yeah. They yeah. used an old destroyer, but yeah, that, yeah. that was an enormous expensive yeah, game. Exactly. To run. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I'm I'm working with Mandala at the moment. Actually, we're running a game mm-hmm. in November called Contact. I don't know if you've heard of it. I've, okay. I've, I've heard Leah mention yeah. that. Yeah, we're um and we we're using the I don't know if also if you know the Grange um in Coventry. They're an airsoft site and they also run um. Mm-hmm. LRP games. Okay. They've got a new site for LRP and um, um, Airsoft in the middle of Birmingham, and we're going to be using that, which is really exciting. Oh, that's like Birmingham had an open day recently. I, I think their open day is in a few weeks. Oh, right. So, okay. yeah. All right. Okay. So, yeah, uh, yeah I mean, it, it, is, it is much harder work then, as you, you've got to yeah. find the right location. You know, yep. location, location, location. Um, Always, yeah. <laughs> and, and what have you. Where, as you say, with a fantasy lap, you just find a wood, a field, a uh, side of a mountain. If you've got a big enough back garden, <laughs> yeah. you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Bump, you know, there's, there's your lap. You know, okay. there's, there's your set. Getting that side then, that back at the last lap con I played in the Starship Bridge Simulator. Yeah. Which actually does a really good job of doing a science fiction Star Trek or almost any science fiction involving a crew and a spaceship bridge. Yeah. But the actual amount of work you'd have to put in to configure it to a particular lap would be, yeah, it'd be horrible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just much. I think it's just much bigger, maybe. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but so I, I think you could also take in consideration that LARP essentially originated in the fantasy form. Yeah. And there are a lot more places where you can get items and clothes for fantasy lab rather than sci-fi. Yeah. You know, it's so much easier to get fantasy gear than sci-fi gear. I mean, it's not impossible, but you go, oh, no. you type in LARP shop in Google and it's just all fantasy. Most mm. of it will be fantasy gear for you. So it's my, I mean, it, it's, it's just like, it's just the way it's been. I mean, obviously recently now that all the other ones are becoming more and more popular, but I think, uh, Fancy probably still has the popularity by quite a large amount, I would yeah. imagine. You know, avail- availability of everything then, really, if you think about well, it. Well, yeah, whether, yeah whether it's just be, easier. Whether it I be think a kit, you have a people who use it. That's what we're seeing, really, aren't we? Yeah. 
it's, it's just easier overall. You've got it's easier to get the availability of the, the items and the clothing, and the costumes and everything like that. The location that you have to do it in can be, like you said, anywhere. It can be even your own bedroom if you've got a big enough bedroom. And um, that's, a, that's a different lot. Yeah, yes, that's yes, not quite what we yes, normally do. Yeah, yeah no. that's a Game of Thrones lot. Um, <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> and um, and the systems tend to be a lot simpler. As in, you hit someone with the sword, they take damage. Yeah. Whereas maybe yeah. potentially with a sci-fi one, it needs to be a bit more complicated, maybe with lasers and, and other things like that, which might be a bit more... Did well, you if say you have guns did you or say projectiles... With lasers. lasers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you have guns or projectiles, then you have to think of a whole system as to how yeah. to do it. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah. And I mean, I suppose that's similar to magic, but I, I think you have to, to make a decision about if you're going to do like something like use Nerf guns or if you're going to have like a point and trust and shoot kind of system. So, it's like a whole nother level that you need to consider. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, yeah, okay. With with uh, with magic, right? At the very minimum, I mean, the calls are a little bit more protracted as well, aren't they? You know, yeah, it's it's you know by mm. by the power of of whoever I summon, blah blah, and it gives the ref time to go. What's he what's he doing? Yeah, that's true. Right, you uh, know. So it also gives you, it gives you the players time to react as well because you're looking at you know, he's, oh my god, he's going to cast a. Yeah, um, yeah. but but with nerf guns firing at at uh, speed, um, <laughs> then other than oh uh, 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 oh I've been shot. Um, <laughs> the evil, but, you know. <laughs> uh, then um, yeah, it's a bit more difficult to actually role play that. Uh, I mean, I don't. I, I don't know this, but how popular is using airsoft guns in LARP? That's getting I, quite I popular. It's starting is it, is to. It, you know. I, yeah. I don't know if it goes maybe the other way a bit. If it's like rather than airsoft coming into LARP, like making LARP more is coming into airsoft, airsoft games that have got a narrative to yeah. them. Yeah. I don't know if it's yeah. yeah. that right. way around. Because yeah. uh, like doing airsoft is a it's like a bit a bit more of a specific skill, isn't it? And you have yeah. to have equipment, yeah. and you have to have a place where you're allowed to do it, and there's all sorts of regulations. So maybe it's yeah. the way around a bit. Yeah, yeah I mean, there's regulations on 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 what the guns look like, where you can yeah. get them from, how you can handle them. Yeah, yeah. Then there's all this hasty equipment that goes part and part, and yeah. then adding the narrative into it. I know a lot of airsoft like narratives. I'm seeing a lot of stuff online. I know there's yeah. mm. a couple of uh, post apocalypse games that big on airsoft now. Mm. Yeah, there's mm. one near me actually um, in Eversley in Hook, um, where mm. they run uh, they run a load of um, they call them they run lots of LARP games and they call them film sims rather than yeah. LARPs. Um, okay. I can't remember what the name of the company is. Can you remember? Oh, that, that mind's eye. Um, I LARP. I LARP. I LARP. Yeah, um, mm. and they uh, they also run um, some like airsoft games and things which have got a, quite a lot more narrative to them, I think. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, at, at least, at least you they know. Seem to be focusing on sort of a lap that's a more thematic. You know, they, that's, yeah. as the name says, it's a, it's a more the, yeah. a continual thematic experience. They want things to be yeah. fairly realistic. And I, I went to one of their games actually. Um, oh, how was it? It was good. It was called. It wasn't like it was a. a it was a still a fantasy one actually. <laughs> Um, there you go. Um, it was called Land Without a King, and it was about uh, King Arthur, and uh, it was really good actually. It had really minimal rules and was really freeform and stuff. But it was Ooh. really good. Yeah, nice. I mean, you know, at, at least at least with the with, with the um, the airsoft stuff, at least you know you've been hit if you have been That's hit, true. <laughs> hit, hit by a blaster. You know, uh, yeah. not a stormtrooper blaster naturally because they can't hit. But, uh, <laughs> no, they never actually hit. Uh, yeah. No. You're safe if you're facing one of those. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Is there Star Wars LARP? Oh, there is Star Wars LARP. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never had there a there. There must I know, be. I know, I know there's some in Croatia of all places. Because okay. Ivan, who was on our first show, he's a big Star Wars LARPer. I know some came from... Is one, Tom looking guess, up Star Wars LARP now? He is looking for Star Wars LARP. I know <laughs> some from out of Italy. And I'm pretty sure I looked this one online on Facebook, which was... This country or states, which was another, I think it was the states, that was another Star Wars LARP. Yeah, you'll find it, you'll find it under the, under the LARPing.org stuff. Um, and Star Wars LARP, we found the game you're looking for. Yeah, so... um, that was back in 2013. I've got one called uh, The Galaxy Awaits LARP, which it looks like is an unofficial Star Wars LARP. They're all unofficial, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> 
<laughs> um, which is located in Seattle. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, I got it. The Galaxy Awaits. Yeah. And it is the Galaxy yeah, Awaits. The costumes dog. are awesome. Jedi costumes. I'm, I mean, I mean, like, you know, as we've discussed on, on, on this show before, if you can think up of a theme or it's <laughs> or it's a, a, like a a genre of something, somebody somewhere is running or has run a yeah. LARP based around that um, because that's how we roll. It's it's we really like doing this. Let's go and do this. Uh, and I think that's the. That's the genius thing behind LARP, is you know, is the fact of I'm really into. Let's say Firefly, right? I'm really into Firefly. Love Firefly. I want to do a LARP on that. I probably could get twenty to thirty mates together <laughs> and build. Yeah, I've you know. been to a Serenity LARP. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. I think Serenity is a slightly easier LARP to do with sci-fi because it yeah. is kind of yeah. like lo-fi. Well, isn't it? it's 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 yeah. Wild West, isn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah. Which whichever way, whichever way you cut that bread, it's still the Wild West. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Just in it space. Is, but, but again, it, it, it's back to lo-fi again. It's uh, yeah. It's a walk away from the ships, and it's people walking around with six shooters, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> just because it happens to be cool, it's neither here nor there. You t- sorry, Amy, you, you broke up a bit then. Did you say you've been to a Serenity Lab? Yeah, I went to a um, like a Firefly Serenity Lab a few years ago. It was, it was really good, actually. They had loads of really interesting tech. They had these um, sort of little cards that you could scan and you could mm-hmm. get onto the Cortex. And right. um, they had lo- it was really good. And you, you, there was loads of really elegant rules about kind of... Um, uh like mending things and um doing surgery it was all about cards and stuff it was really good okay oh, actually I've been for ages uh, really cool. I like... it's still running i think the one that i went to okay but... we'll have to we'll have to look at, have a look into that uh everybody and uh see if we can wangle our way in <laughs> in there <laughs> as... <laughs> that's how we would. <laughs> yeah you know, uh, see if we we can we go along and and uh, and and cover that one uh, at some point. Um, ba, 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 right. So I think we. Of uh, uh, anyone else want to add anything else to the Y Fantasy Lab? Is no, I think I think we pretty much. I, 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 reasons. I think we've got. To, I think we've now gone from anti technology to just it's easier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sum it up. It is easier to do. Yeah. It really. Is. I, that's it. Yeah, yeah. It pretty much is. You know, in, in, in anybody, you know, hand a sword. Ooh, I know what to do with this. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, Hit person I, with pointy end. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, smack him over head. Done. Um, <laughs> of course, headshots are usually not allowed in most LARPing systems, and we don't advi- uh, condone that action. Um, <laughs> so. So uh, you you went along to uh, Empire LARP then, Emmy Lou. I did, yes. Uh, it was it was amazing. Okay, do you want to um... good review? Yeah, um, good review. It was well, amazing. It was yeah. it was really good. Um, I think well, there's quite a lot of factors that fo- that factor into it being amazing. Yeah. Firstly, is I was really exhausted after renewal, <laughs> um, and for whatever reason, I also decided to crew uh, an event the weekend after renewal, and then I the weekend after that was going to Empire. So the fact that I was playing a system, yeah, when I haven't played a fest system since 1999. Oh wow! I know. <laughs> was really exciting yeah. and i was yeah. going with all of my really close friends and their group is amazing and like really naughty and they have got this reputation for being sort of evil and stuff within the game um so that was immediately really good yeah. um and then the spectacle of the game itself i think i said last time that i was on i was really looking forward to the spectacle of mm. anvil the town yep. and yep. where we happened to be camped in character um we were so i i don't think it could have been better um the field where anvil is placed is enormous and that it's mm-hmm. sort of split into two bits one of which is um higher up 
on a hill and we were just on the sort of crest of the hill so oh, yeah. we could just see this amazing kind of sea of in character tents Ooh, and when fabulous. it was dark it just oh it was so beautiful and so much thought goes into um putting together the camps and putting together the groups and some of the camps are like in the woods there's a big orc camp in the woods and okay. there's the navarre camp in the woods and they're just it, it the spectacle of it is a real sight to see i have to so it was yeah it was really good um what else can i tell you i i didn't really get involved in the game very much but that was kind mm -hmm. of my intent i was going along for a bit of r and r Just, yeah, really. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But that being said i have to say if i go along to the next game of the same as the same character there's quite a lot of kind of plot hooks that I could follow up on really easily to get mm. really involved in the game. Okay. Um, so although I wasn't involved immediately, I don't think that's anything to do with the game. That's just to do with the fact that I basically wanted to swan around in a dress. That's yeah. what I Respect normally. That. That's, that's what yeah. that's, that's that's what I not normally like doing. Just. I had an eye patch around. as well. It was dress. amazing. <laughs> 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 it, was really good. Oh, cool. it was just fun. It was it was a really good game, and yeah. that, like I say, the setting's good. Um, all of the people who I go with who were in my group had, I didn't go on in either of the battles, but yeah. all of the people in my group were monstered or the yeah. first battle and then played the second battle. And they all really enjoyed the battles as well. Um, there's a lot of skirmishes that you can get involved in. So if combat is your thing, you can kind of, because there's no combat that actually takes place in the, ta in the sort of, I don't know what to call it conurbation of anvil where the right. game takes place okay. you have to go through what's called the sentinel gate to have combat right. which is quite a cool right. thing um and um so there's loads like all day people were like we need people for this we need people for this so i would have been able to get involved in loads and loads of combat and other scenarios mm. and skirmishes and stuff if i wanted to so, so the way the, the way they work it then is is the the town or the place is actually a a no no fighting zone and i'm sure there are rep reprimanded quite severely if fights happen there then is it i think so that's what i was given that's what i'm given to understand um mm -hmm. i hope i haven't got that completely wrong but it there certainly didn't seem to be any kind of like attacks on the paths and they don't have kind of like um they don't have like groups of wandering monsters going around attacking you or anything like that right yeah. um it seems it's much more sort of focused on Role playing and kind of uh, in character institutions. So there's loads mm. of different institutions that are run by the players, um, and there are loads of different kind of institutions that are run by the game. Um, so and you can get involved in all of these different institutions, and yeah. it's yeah, it's really rich setting. So yeah, I had an excellent time. Cool. So so you know so so in that case, then uh, combat is on purpose and with intent. Yeah. Yeah, because you, you've got to actually physically travel somewhere yeah. to to actually do combat. Yeah, in, in, in so that, that respect, that opened up the town to lots and lots of well, character role playing and yeah, yeah. I like that idea and, and narrative, which is nice. Lots, lots, of, yeah. lots of story and character in one place, but you step you step through a point, and you know and you know trouble's going to start. You know yeah. you're going to have a fight because there is yeah. nothing worse <laughs> than than walking back from the town when you've just managed to you know queue up and get your pig in a bun or whatever it is you've got and you're suddenly attacked by monsters you're like oh no no leave me alone i just want to eat this god damn it um <laughs> attack me yeah. later i'll come find you <laughs> that's where you pretend to play dead and just go <laughs> well, well one handed one hand in the air yeah. <laughs> i'm not here <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah my my daughter did uh did keep an eye out for you uh, i but tried she... to keep an eye out for her as well yeah, yeah. but she did i have couldn't to... find anybody with the same hair as me <laughs> so. she, she, she did have to come back uh back and forth a couple of times back home um <laughs> for family reasons or what have you uh so just missed you i think something like that but i'm sure you will meet up at some point you can't yeah. miss her she's me but prettier with long curly hair okay you know that's would... yeah that's a good description <laughs> yeah so 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 me you know but, um, <laughs> but slightly but but only slightly prettier i mean 
<laughs> now you're in trouble. Uh, don't yeah. do yourself down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sorry. Next time you see me, she's probably going to stab me or something. That's fine. Um, <laughs> uh, so, so that's really cool. Um, you, you'd recommend Empire then as a fast yeah, system. Had, like I said, I had an excellent time. I really, really enjoyed it. So, okay. yes, I would recommend it thoroughly. I, I think it would be um, if I. I, I don't know if it would have been harder to get involved if I wasn't in the group of people I was with, but yeah. I think that's probably true for almost all um, kind of games, to be honest. Yeah. I think everything is always going to be better if you go with a group of people who you, you know that yeah. you're going to have a really good time with. Oh, yeah. like we spent a lot of time basically just sitting around in our camp being silly in character which was amazing <laughs> yeah, that, that, that is some of the best that, yeah. that's some of the best times in lab so of all the <laughs> having fun great uh, of of all the systems then that you you have played which one yeah. do you think would be the best for tom to experience the big lab oh gosh i don't i don't know it really depends mm. i think all of the the big larps have got their own kind of like draw really mm. it's i i i don't i don't really know what to say about that because i mean obviously i love curious pastimes because i work yeah. there yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. Um, yeah but then like like i said i had this amazing time at empire as well and i went to lt last year and mm. i had a really good time at lt as well so i, I mean don't... i put off I mean, I've been on first laps for a while now, but after yeah. CP, that's renewal, I'm going, okay, I, I've got to come back to Curious Path, and then I've got to go back and do another first lap again. Yeah. <laughs> sort of reinvigorated that. I, I think it depends where there's people you know. Yeah. That's the, that's I, think, the I think that's a good answer. If you know so many other people yeah. going there, that's, it's always better to have a, yeah. have a yeah. gang of friends around you. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it is, although although we, we didn't find that in Curious Pastimes. God no, it's brilliant. You know, we 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 only knew you. That's yeah. true. Right? You did okay. it's as simple I knew as that. that, and that was it. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we we only we only knew you, um, and you know we were only introduced to a number of you know, a small number of people. Obviously, uh, you were hardly around because you were running around like a a, a maniac doing things. Yep, that's um, true. So mm-hmm. when we wandered and interacted and what have you, we were met with. Um, well, hellos, you know, hello, yeah. <laughs> you know, not uh, not who are you, which would usually be the suspicion. Uh, when I but was you, were, nice. you weren't playing characters, though. No. You were very out of character. So yeah. Yeah. I think had you been in kit and trying to interact with the game proper more, then yeah. I, I imagine it might be. There might have it, been, it, yeah. I just think if you're in a group of people, it's always more fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, always. Well, right. You are right. We weren't really interacting with the game. We were there. We were present in the game, but we weren't actually playing. We were very much, oh, very much cast as, as observers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Whereas in game, and that was fine. If you try and go in game to a group of that have been around for ages, they're going to be quite weary of someone randomly coming up mm-hmm. to you and going, "Yeah, Hi, how are you doing?" Yeah. As, yeah. As... No, it's because yeah, laugh as a in character. This is in character, and normally suspicious of. Everything. everything you're like <laughs> the monster crew sent him to do something I mean, <laughs> why yeah. why is you know, that why is that leaf in the middle of the road <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a trap okay we'll stay and they spend about two hours there seeing if it is a trap, trap. where actually it was just a, a leaf, leaf in, in the middle of the road. oh actually, actually that's one of my pet hates is when a group player just just, just focus on one thing it could be a leaf if it wants leaves. to or anything, <laughs> anything else I'll, I'll take I it hate <laughs> leaves and they spend like four hours talking about it, and the poor and there's no. It's great because they're role playing, yeah. And it's bad because there's no there's no story movement either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they'll look, just talk for days. Well, look, we day, okay, maybe not days. Actually, yes, days. Given half chance, days. We spent we you... we spent three three complete D and D sessions in one room that had a, a door. Um, that we checked for traps. It was unlocked. We checked for traps. We checked for hidden compartments. We checked three sessions because our mate Noel, right, never, ever had an empty room. <laughs> However, this time 
he couldn't be asked to put anything in there, and it genuinely <laughs> was an empty room. Naughty, naughty. That's actor character info there. Naughty, that's naughty. Brilliant. You know, and we spent we spent literally three D and D sessions. Good work, no. Good work. Yeah, and, yeah, he, and, was from, yeah, and, he, and he, he was even he trying. He was trying to move us on. He was trying to move us. He says, seriously, guys, I didn't put anything in there because I couldn't think of anything to put in there. There is nothing. I I promise you, nothing in the room. We don't believe you. We're yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're rolling more dice. Unbelievable magic item. It's got to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Three whole sessions in one room. Oh, no. He should have just showed you his notes and said, look. Look, there's look. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, um, that's the way it is. But do you know anybody who goes to any big LARPs, Tom, or do you not? Um, yeah, I, I know a few people, mainly that go to the gathering. Um, yeah, okay. Like, yeah. So yeah. then maybe that's where to start. Yeah, go 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 with uh, go go with the guys. At the I mean, at, at the LT. I would agree if a big LARP was something I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it never really appealed to me. That's because you yeah, haven't been to one. It's true. I've I've never been to one, but I don't have any urge to go to one that's fair enough you know i'm i'm happy with the smaller laps where you know i feel like i'm i'm contributing more you know in the role playing and the actual story and it's a story that i can follow quite nicely and you know like it just that that appeals to me more than just big battles you know that that that's that's just the way i feel about it what if we could get you in for free (laughs) you know you're saying right i i I mean the the big ones then they're not just all about the big battles the big battle the big battles are a spectacle there's no two ways about it yeah big battles are great fun yeah um whether you're about the battles though no god knows all about the perfect plot there's Mm -hmm. there's a massive amount of plot as well yeah Yeah. i i don't know i just i don't know it's just something that i've never really like, Fr- frankly, you should do what you want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, yeah, that's God, yeah. or yeah. anything that we um, tell you. <laughs> I mean, yeah. we, we've all been on and off fast up to various different extents over the years, and it's time to the fancy one. I think that's fine. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I haven't played event- one since 1999. Yeah. Yeah, maybe eventually I'll go to a big one, but I'm not in a rush. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not in a rush. No, that's perfectly reasonable. I mean, there's, there's been so many good club laps out there of mm. all, all different states of society, and so people who both do the big laps or who never go to big laps. It doesn't, doesn't make a lot of difference, really, as long as you're doing what you're comfortable with. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Laurie and Trust then next year, but You paying? <laughs> See if I can get you in. You can. Oh, hang on. When's the Lorian Trust? When's well, that going? It's always August Bank Holiday. Everything's August oh, Bank in that Holiday. Case, mate. Busy. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. There's, there's games throughout the year. They do have games throughout the year. So do Curious Pastimes have games throughout the year. Yeah. So uh, I think I think I think we 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 need to get him him up there to one as LARP book maybe to begin with. What hmm. what do you reckon, Emily See, the thing yeah. is though, if I came up as LARP book, I'd see everyone LARP and go, I got to get in there. Well, I just got to get in there. <laughs> well. Give me, put, put a sword in my hand and let's go. <laughs> or just give me a hat. I'll make I'll make my way through. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll make up a character and go in there and role play and have them all like sell their souls or something to me. I'll yeah. find a way. Yeah, exactly. Wow. <laughs> yeah, being character into it, go for it. Well, yeah. I mean, in one, I actually, in the, the, the lap I went to at the Balrog, hmm. I was given a character. Yeah. Uh, just no combat, just a character who said, right, there was a deal and they didn't want to do the deal and I had to make sure that they wouldn't do the deal so I went in there and I managed to try and twist it around so the guy that I solely wanted the deal with so that they would kill that guy so I had the the sole trade of this particular potion that they needed just for me so I was the new kingpin I, I wasn't told to do it I just did it because uh-huh. <laughs> because the opportunity and that's, that's just the way the the conversation went well that's you know. that's that's role playing for you yeah yeah perfect and uh whatever you yeah. think that the characters won't do it's probably what they will do <laughs> yeah yeah that's it yeah exactly so, exactly um, mm. um right any more on that no no just the empire now sounds good it was good i would thoroughly recommend going yeah, okay. and I'm starting to really feel back again for more yeah. big laps, which is nice. Yeah, I'm yeah I would really... thoroughly, thoroughly recommend going. Yeah. 
Although, although actually it's got a nice size lap coming up in October, no, November, because Fairway is what, 150 players? Yeah, 150, yeah. I'd say medium size then, not huge. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it happens to be in a different country. How rude. I know. But we're going. Ha ha ha. Uh, right, so... Um, okay. Let's move on then to uh, to we got some um, some events to uh, shout out and what have you. Uh, right, first event is the, in the Neothera Saga Day Adventure Two. Mm-hmm. Um, a pilfering yes. of papers. I really feel like I should do it in Mister Burns voice for that. A pilfering of papers. <laughs> yeah, that works. Smithers, <laughs> destroy him. Um, so that is on the tenth of December. At uh, nine o'clock, uh, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's a one day lap, isn't it, Rob? Yeah, if I'm yeah, right. So single day lap, they meet at nine o'clock in the morning, finishes, uh, play, finishes play, at five. You know, five, yeah, play until they finish, and then it's which, is, which is very civil, just in time for tea, um, and what have you. <laughs> um, we will have oh, it's more civil than that, they're meeting in a Toby Carvery. Oh, oh, wow, for, for breakfast, see, count me in. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, so that is actually going to be on Woodbury Common. Um, we've got all the coordinates because it's that sort of LARP. We've got the uh, geolocation for it. Uh, we've also That's got... You, Woodbury Common, you'd need to. It's huge. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, we've also got a link to their Facebook group as well, which we will be putting up in the show notes. Uh, okay, then the Age of Ether. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, I think so. Age of Ether yeah, so. event. Yeah, so that's why I say two. So another yeah. another uh, two uh, event. Uh, this one is based on steampunk. So Luke, right up your alley, mate. Um, in fact, I expect to see you there. Um, this is the Mac. Oh God, Massifaria. I crucify uh, all of these games. Massifaria Games, yeah, yeah. That, that's, I think Massifaria, yeah. Massifaria Games, October the 14th to October the 16th, 2016. And we got a link there as well in the show notes to their site, yeah. so you can read up more on that. Uh, it's a steampunk game. What more do you need to know? Uh, it's, oh, it's, oh, yeah, but it involves Martians. Of course. Why wouldn't it? Um, let's be honest. And then we come on to ones that are outside of the UK. Uh, the first one is, and I am saying this how it is actually put, okay? I'm not taking the piss, oh, yeah? Vinterland. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Vinterland. Right? Oh, yeah. I'm not this taking will look, the mickey on this it. Will, this will look at, uh, oh, come on, Link, work me. Yeah. Um, so the, I'll read a little bit of the blurb. The year is 2045. According to most people in post-apocalyptic Scandinavia, it is two days after the early, so the yearly market of, gonna uh, gonna completely crucify this, uh, Hindermas in Orebro, and at the settlement of uh, rifle? rifle, rifle, yeah, a lot of travellers pass by these days. Vinterland takes place two and a half years after the LARP uh, uh, Landsvag. Seriously, can you just not get some easier names for me to say? Um, you are. I don't, I don't, I'm looking for these intentionally now. <laughs> you are. You are welcome to bring your Landsvag uh, character back to life again at Vinterland. Um, this is a two-day event. Uh, I did read more of the blurbs. We have got a link, obviously, to to get to it. Uh, it looks brilliant. However, there is one caveat. That would make me go, hmm, strokey chin, strokey chin. When you have a look at the um, uh, details of uh, what the temperatures you can expect outside, it is minus five to minus 20. Wow. <laughs> <More after that. laughs> oh, don't, don't, worry, don't, don't worry, Tom. They've also given us the, the indoor temperatures. Yeah, of, of plus 15. You go there, Ooh. girl. You know, zero uh, degrees, to zero degrees. Just, just, yeah, you know, it's like poof. That's uh, that, that's balmy. Um, Guys, they have a snow depth. That's all you need to say. The snow, yeah, the snow depth. Snow depth. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that uh, sounds amazing. It does sound yeah. amazing. That, that sounds amazing. Great environment. It does. 
It does, I, mean, I mean, let, let's be honest. If you are going to roll a post-apocalyptic uh, thing, how about yeah. in the middle of goddamn nowhere? Where that sounds epic. Where the, where, where the temperatures could get to minus 20. You know? Yeah. You say that now while you're sat in your lovely warm room. Yeah, um, that's true. Well, <laughs> 3 a.m. minus 20 degrees. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's shorts and t-shirt weather, but I have met a few, a few poles that would probably go, oh, that's quite normal. We do do that in shorts and t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> you know, so... Um, yeah. Mm. Wow, that um, sounds brilliant. It does. It does sound yeah. absolutely superb. Yeah. Uh, obviously, a link is going up on the show notes. And oh, then yeah. we've got, uh, they do love their partners, uh, Gulag Part 3. Um, they... that, that's that's, that's, that's Ilaf, isn't it? That's yeah. an Ilaf yeah. game, yeah. 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 It's um, right this one. Road, yeah, house. it's just down the road. Yeah. <laughs> So you, so you go along to it. Uh, December the 9th at 8 p.m. through to December the 11th, finishing off at 3 p.m. Um, and we got this. So uh, 2026 prologue. Location, Eastern Block in what was once Georgia. It's been over a decade since the world collapsed and, the, and only three months since the fall of the gulags in the region. The others came from the south and overran 13 gulags in two days. One by one, the radios went silent. The screams and voices lost to the winds. God love the word gulag. And yeah, I know. Great and, word. And, gul- and goulash, I quite like as well. But that's just me. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we got a link there up as well uh, yeah. to that site as well. So uh, there's a few of you to uh, try to cover all the bases. Different types yeah. of LARP. Actually, yeah, I really like the love of Gulag. Like, I've been sort of following Gulag on their Facebook group, and the kit the guys have put together for it, uh, the players have put together, is just awesome. And it really looks like a really fun, uh, well, quite tough game to play. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's got a tag of Airsoft, so it yeah. might actually be. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah well, that might be like what we were talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's, yeah. That's, that's exactly what we we're talking about. Uh, seems to be the same the same guys that, that, that are doing it. So. Uh, yeah. Um, so that's quite cool. Uh, is there anything anybody else wants to add? Or plug? Or plug? Uh, I'm going to another game. Oh, what's that? Okay. Um, it's called Paradigm Shift. Yep. Um, and it's a sort of like um, a cyberpunky kind of game. Um, mm. It's in November. Run at the site I was talking about earlier on, which is the the um, site in Birmingham. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going for that, so I can tell you about that when I go as well. Yeah, um, well I, I mean, you are I just gonna, you are just going to be our roving reporter, aren't you? Let's be honest. That's it. <laughs> yeah. uh, Tom and I off to one game next month as well. Mm-hmm. We've got end of the month. We've got another Twilight Realms uh, lab running. So uh, that should be, we, and there's still one or two places left on that. If anybody is interested. Yeah. Uh, contact us through Facebook and we'll hook you up with the organisers. Yep. There's cool. a space in the Paradigm Shift game as well that I'm going to. Actually. Oh, excellent. Cool. Yeah. Excellent. So, so, yeah. so there you go. Uh, if you want any information about those particular games, uh, email us over at larpbookshow at gmail.com or knock, or, or knock us up. <laughs> no. Um, contact us on Facebook and I'm sure we'll be able to put you in touch with the appropriate people. Um, oh, yeah. Not a problem there. Yeah. Uh, I think that's uh, about it. Um, Tom, I know, I, I, you know, you, uh, when we say sort of you want to promote anything, you, you seem to be uh, game streaming uh, at 10 a.m. every day. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so, I don't have a job anymore. Well, that's right, yeah. So how can um, people find you? Uh, so basically, you can always find me on Twitch. Uh, if you yeah. go to www.twitch.tv forward slash redundant UK, one word. Uh, you can yeah. see me every Monday to Friday from 10 a.m. playing multiple games. I'm playing Bioshock at the moment, and then in the mm-hmm. afternoon I switch to Dragon Age 2. Uh, but you can also check me out on Twitter, which is at redundant underscore UK. To find out when I'm going live. Cool. Okay. Uh, Emmy Lou, how can people find you and what you're doing on the interwebs? I don't know, really. <laughs> um... <laughs> I, I have got I've got a website that it's um, mainly because I, I don't know if you know this actually I'm a costume designer as well mm. as doing games and stuff so 
So um, my website is mainly for that kind of thing. Um, okay. But um, I can give you a link for it if you'd like. Yeah. Yep. Well, I noticed that you started the Facebook page in that recently. I had a look at some of the costumes and they look, yeah. they look really good. Yeah. So, yeah, I can send you that if you like. Yeah. Yeah. Pop that. You know, look at that in the show notes and uh, pop that in if you're okay. Yeah. 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 Cool. Wow. Rob, how do people find you? Um, well, you can contact me through Lapbook, uh, lapbook.com. That's nice and easy. Or our Facebook page or on Twitter. Um, I'm at Rob Davis. And not the South, Me- South African Trade Minister. <laughs> <laughs> although, although, please do ask Rob anything about South African trade. Um, he will happily answer any of your questions. Um, <laughs> really bad South African accent. <laughs> South African men. All right, mate. I suppose you can. Con- I've got all my curious, pa- all the curious pastimes contacts as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can put those up here. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, you can find me on Twitter. Not that yeah, I ever. Well, yeah, I do go on there a little bit. Stuart, Stuart J Edwards, S T U A R T J Edwards. Obviously, LARP book, etc. Facebook. You can find me. It's really easy to find me. Uh, just look. Just look. Look for the picture. Just search for Stuart Edwards, and you'll find me with a stupid, uh, big wooden moustache with that sort of face um <laughs> so it's easy to recognize me uh, and apart from that i think we're probably about done so ba, 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 let's have a look yeah so a big thank you to our lovely patrons who make it a bit easier to keep this show going we thank you thank you thank you uh emmy Liu, thank you very much for coming along this evening uh tom robert thanks a lot absolutely superb uh, if you would like to get in contact with the show, just email larpbookshow at gmail.com. Is there a topic you would like us to discuss or something cool you saw or fancy writing an article for the website? Then email the show, larpbookshow at gmail.com. Music was provided by Ben Sound at bensound.com. If you feel like uh, giving the show some love, pop across to Patreon at patreon.com forward slash larpbook and give as much or as little as you can afford it all helps out uh, we have a shop up on redbubble just search for larpbook and you can also listen to the podcast on itunes stitcher youtube podbean just search for larpbook uh, the website is larpbook.com news reviews and all wonderful things up there and you can follow us on facebook twitter google plus just search for larpbook don't forget to give us a five star review on itunes or whatever system you use for pod catching these days i've been Stuart edwards thank you very much for tonight and ha- have fun everybody bye 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 there he goes bye <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I get> <laughs>